All right, guys, welcome to this page of the notes. And the last thing I want to look at with you guys when it comes to Kramer's rule is this right here. If you ever wind up getting a determinant for the coefficient matrix that is zero, Well, since we divide in Kramer's rule to find the value of our variables, we wind up dividing by the determinant of the coefficient matrix. If that determinant comes out to be zero, we're dividing by zero, which is not allowed. And here's what it means. Uh, Kramer's rule will not solve the system of equations. And the reason it won't solve the system of equations is because the system is either um, a consistent and dependent, meaning there's an infinite number of solutions, all three equations uh, represent the exact same plane, right? So you either have um, that all three planes are the same plane, um, or all three planes don't actually intersect each other, right? Only two of the planes intersected. So there isn't a solution where you have all three planes intersecting. Or, or um, you wind up with division by zero when there's no solution. The system is inconsistent meaning that none of the three planes ever intersect. Maybe all three planes are parallel to each other or, or something like that. So um, what we have uh, is division by zero in Kramer's rule. Uh, you might have to solve using a different method, either the graphing, which we, we did graph systems of three equations. Um, but if you had a system of two equations, you could graph it. Um, if it's a system of three equations, you could do the algebraic method that we learned, either the substitution or the elimination uh, methods would certainly work as well. So when it comes to Kramer's rule, it doesn't always work if you wind up with division by zero. And let me show you an example. Right here on this page, I give you a system of three equations, these guys right here. Uh, and I go ahead and find my coefficient matrix, which I've got right here. I just pull the coefficients out of that matrix and I get my coefficient matrix. I then proceed to find the determinant of my coefficient matrix by rewriting the first two columns outside of my determinant bars. I do my major diagonals and I wind up with a bottom number of 60. I do my minor diagonals and I wind up with a top number also of 60. Bottom minus top means 60 minus 60, which gives me zero. What's gonna happen when I set up Kramer's rule going to wind up with division by zero, which is not allowed. And so what we know now is that Kramer's rule will not work for solving this system due to division by zero. You're going to have to find some other method. You could do substitution. Actually, for this system, substitution wouldn't work because I, well, the uh, Actually, substitution might be a good way to go, although I don't have anybody who's uh, elimination is going to be the way to go, um, uh, just simply because what I've got is um, a couple of variables that are opposite in signs um, and the coefficients are matching. So elimination would be the fastest way to go to solve this system of equations. And you know that you're going to get a solution uh, that is either infinite number of solutions or, or no solution. Since Kramer's rule didn't work, the system cannot be consistent and independent. It must be either inconsistent uh, or consistent and dependent, meaning all the equations are the same or they don't ever intersect each other. It's got to be one of those two. Guys, thanks so much for joining me for this set of the videos. I really hope you enjoyed learning about determinants and Kramer's rule. I sure had a good time doing it with you. Um, that takes care of everything in section seven. So I'll see you the next time.